Dude, I need to clean this lens. Remy, where are we going? Uh, where, where are we going? You ever been to a country club? I don't really go to too many. Sounds like white people shit. Sounds it's exactly what it is. Rich white people shit. They're cool though. But we're gonna talk about it. Uh, this isn't the video about the pledge class. I'm gonna make that and post it. Oh shit, I didn't mean to throw that shit. I meant to throw it behind me. My harvest coconut water. Yeah. But um, we'll talk about something. Let me pull out. We'll talk about it. I love you guys. Hopefully the market's been treating you good. It's been uh, it's been fun. All right. I'll get some wheel, you know, get some action. Show them what we're working with, Remy. Show them what we're working with. But I'm not that hype. No, I really am. But I want to talk about something I kind of talk about. I get asked a lot. College and trading, you know. Um, and I guess what is the point of it? I guess that's the best way to put it. Like, how is stock trading in college going to affect you? I'm saying that because I'm going right now. I'm actually, we're seeing my friend from college. We're going to the country club. And, you know, this is my buddy from college. I know a lot of people. I've met a lot of people in college I'm friends with today. And that, that's led to other connections you know people ask me straight up like what's my degree in political science did college help me with stock trading absolutely not and that's honest but i still say stay in school i love college and the aspect of networking now you don't have to go that's uh it's, <laughs> it's totally up to you but it's, it's what you get out of it and i guess that's where i want to talk about is if you do want to trade stocks and you want to go to school or you don't go to school i guess how do you pursue this in that way? I guess we'll start with if you do go to school, what should you study? And that's pretty simple, um, what you want. And I say that because that's what I did. I did political science and you know, I was able to use it for economics, you know. Oh shit, shit, it's hurt. I usually don't take this way. We're going to the valley, so it's fun, it's weird. But <laughs> I did politics. I was able to use it, you know, international uh, politics, how it related to economics. I did take like a couple econ classes, but I never did anything with finance. However, that was good for school for me because I actually enjoyed it and I learned it. I was engaged with it. And that's, you know, why I say do whatever you want because the beauty of the stock market is you can reflect your skills in any way. Uh, you could go to med school and you could still do good at stock trading. If you know about medicine, you know about how it works, you'll probably be a great biotech trader. You know, it doesn't mean, and if you wanted to do that full time instead of going to school, you know, that's an option. You know, we've even, um, there's somebody in TTF Real Estate, we've talked to him about, uh, he wants to drop out and do this. And really the best part is, you could start with stocks and see if you're successful at it. I wouldn't make a move and drop out or not go to school or forego school or even go to school unless I had a plan with it, you know? So that's what you guys got to think about with it and asking yourself, but studying, that's the one answer is what you want as far as being able to get something that you could learn applicable skills for stock marketing, you know, economics, business, uh, international business those are all great things to learn for the stock market and then just finance and accounting in general that will help you with uh filings oh wait i've made a video you get have you seen this tunnel man i ripped it in the rari here this is this where a lot of people you've seen it in those videos you watch with uh that one guy the daily driven guy anybody on youtube with cars this is the fucking tunnel you come new to rip it's scary though because you fucking come out here at night sometimes and it turns really really quickly so, but. Oh yeah, I've seen the. Um, yeah. yeah. It's white, I love it. Hermit is one. It's really cool. It sounds, man, too bad this car doesn't sound tight at all. But, uh, <laughs> so, you know, but finance and accounting is what I was saying. If that could help with like filings, learning how to read a balance sheet, if you know how the accounting is done, that could take you a very, very long way and that'll set you up for even careers in stuff like private equity, becoming an analyst, stuff like that. So you could do that. And even then, a lot of people get into finance and stocks. Like you could be a CFA with, that's something separate. I don't think, say you don't go to college, what should you do? You know, this isn't something I really like, I guess condone, but this is what I would do. It's like, if I, okay, hey, I don't wanna go to school. I'm 18, 24, 25, whatever it may be. What would I do if I wanted to make money trading stocks? Well, the first thing I would see is how much money I have. And like I said before, I practice with it. I would see, do I actually have a shot 
and but from there I would just start studying I would literally learn how to I would go with options for sure but I would also diversify it with stocks and I would learn what I need to and I would start literally with understanding what equity is what the stock market is and then I would just start it's so broad to answer that right because maybe that is the difficulty you guys have then I guess if you're like what do I look up man that's a hard question right because mm. for me it's just all about understanding the dynamics of the market and starting out and that's that's a place you start you know really I think I would that's it it's what I did you know I read the Jim Cramer book and I did that when I was 14 I didn't know much I would say intelligent investor for sure. It's a long read, it's difficult, but starting there. And that's, you know, and I've, I have said this, I would actually, this has always been my game plan. You have heard me. If I ever needed to make money and what I did when I was young, I'm gonna look at the richest motherfucking people out there. You know, I like money and I'm sure we all do, but, and then that's how we define, okay, who's the richest person out there. I don't care about a couple million dollars. I wanna know who's really made a lot investing. And I'd start there and that's where intelligent investor comes up. I would learn how to invest. I'd get on that and go from there. So we're about to pull up.